Seeker's greatest triumph and most famous film, The Bicycle Thief. This is the film found on every ten best list for a quarter of a century, having captured every honor the world of film can bestow, including an Academy Award nomination for Best Screenplay and the coveted Oscar for the Best Foreign Film. In 1965, Stanley Kubrick, John Huston, George Seaton, Joshua Logan, King Vidor, and Fred Zinnemann, among other American directors, voted The Bicycle Thief second place in the 10 best feature films of all time. Critics, performers, and moviegoers alike have had nothing but praise for every aspect of this, the highest point of neorealistic filmmaking. Academy Award winner Marlon Brando observed, the Bicycle Thief is a perfect example of what can be done before the motion picture camera, and is so rarely done. Pulitzer Prize playwright Arthur Miller has written, The Bicycle Thief happens to be a lyrical masterpiece, unafraid to examine openly the destructive world man has made for himself. This picture, above all others, performs the central function of art. Without warping the life it depicts, it discovers the meaning of that life. It is as though the soul of a man had been filmed. Actor Cliff Robertson reports, The Bicycle Thief is the finest motion picture I have ever seen. The first lady of the American theater, Helen Hayes, said, The Bicycle Thief is a perfect work of art. I laughed, I cried, I sat on the edge of my chair. I was so moved by the whole picture, remarked Henry Fonda, I was tempted to write to Sika a fan letter. Garson Kanan, director and author, stated, I have never seen a finer motion picture than The Bicycle Thief. All these accolades and acclaim cannot describe the actual experience of seeing this film and becoming part of its emotional impact. In our film-conscious society, too many films have been labeled classic. The Bicycle Thief is much more. This is the film for all seasons, and above everything, a film for the entire family. Ageless Cinema for every age.